Without a doubt, the coolest feature in Thesis 1.6 is the addictive new design controls. What I want to do today is show you how you can take a default thesis installation like you see here and turn it into something completely different, something that is a personal expression and something that, uh, that you're really going to be proud of. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by uh, taking a look at our, our design options and we're going to make we're going to take this this default three column look right here and turn it into a totally minimalist design that is great by itself and also is a great starting point if you want to kind of clear the canvas for a, a fantastic design that you're going to crank out all right let's take a look at how we do that first we're going to dive into our wordpress dashboard and then we're going to go check out the design options inside thesis and first, we're gonna we're gonna switch this to a two-column layout. It's a little more minimalistic, so we'll switch to two columns. Maybe adjust the width here. Go for a little wider content column, a little wider sidebar. Make sure we select our order. Let's put the content on the left. That's the way. That's where the human eye goes first. So it's good to keep your content on the left if that makes sense for your design. And let's hit the save button. See what we got. So there we go, we've got a two column layout now, but we've still got these borders and everything, and since we're going for a minimalistic approach, let's get rid of those borders. So back to our design options, to the uh, fonts, colors, and more section. And what we can do is click this little box here, show interior layout borders. We're going to remove that, and then hit the save button, and there we go. Our borders in the interior of the layout here, separating the content from the sidebar, separating these different posts, those are all gone. The only border we have left is on the nav menu, and that's still there because the nav menu has separate border controls. So we can also go in here to the nav, set the border width to zero, save it, check it out again, and there our nav uh, is now clean and minimalist like the rest of our layout. All right. So now, uh, I I personally, when I have a min minimalist kind of layout, I like to have one primary color uh, that really kind of sets the tone for everything. And when you got black, white, and gray, a really strong accent color that you can choose is red, and I, it's, it's my personal favorite for that. But uh, we've got this splash of color over here with the picture. So for now, let's just get rid of that. Actually, let's not get rid of that. We can do even better than that. We'll just remove this frame around uh, around the image and make that totally minimalist as well. We'll go to our multimedia box. And right now, the image box background color is E, -E, -E, -E which is light gray. We'll make that white. And uh, the next thing we want to do is change uh, our accent color to red. But we'll, we'll take a look at the layout before we do that. So here we go, our, our, the frame around the, uh, the multimedia box image is now gone. And to set our accent color, let's set that on the links, because right now all the links are blue. Like when you mouse over this, it's blue. So we'll switch that to red to get our primary color in place. Let's make it one of my favorites. All right, and we can do that. We know what that's going to do, but uh, we can also change our nav menu a little bit and have that behaving a little more sexily, if you will. We'll make our hover color white instead of black. And a few other changes here just for effect and we'll see what these do here in just a bit. We'll hit the save button. So here we go, I've made a few color changes. And now here we've got uh, our red accent color when we mouse over things now. Uh, and then when you mouse over the nav menu, I've set it up to highlight in red when you're over an active link, which is pretty cool. And now to finish, I mean, we're almost done really with our minimalist layout. We'll change some fonts here in a second. We've got, we've got red links, pretty obvious what's going on. No lines, it's nice and clean. Uh, what I'd like to do is remove the space at the top of the layout though and have this nav menu butting up against the top. I think that'll look a little bit better. So we'll go back into the design options. Go over here to, our, under framework options, we can see that there's an outer page padding. So let's take a look at that. 
Right now, uh, the outer page padding is one, and what the, the outer page padding is, is like a spatial gap around your layout, which is seen right here and on the left, on the right, and also on the bottom. Uh, if you set a background on your layout, let's do that real quick. If we were to set a background color, just for the sake of example, we'll do something like this. 